Hi, this is Kathleen Bonsick and welcome to my channel. Dressing for success during your professional interview. Bear in mind that what you wear and how you present yourself speaks volumes. It's the first impression that your potential employer has of you. So you do not want the way you present yourself to say the wrong thing. You're a professional. You mean business. You must dress that way. What are some tips and tricks to ensure that your clothing and your body language and the way you present yourself conveys just that to your prospective new employer? It's imperative that you have one or two clean, freshly pressed suits in your closet at all times. You should wear a suit during your interview because a suit conveys the fact that you mean business. So have a suit, have it ready to go, because the last thing that you want to have happen is to say, I'm sorry, I cannot, Mr. or Ms. Recruiter, come in tomorrow for an interview or the next day because my suit's not ready. You want to be able to say, yes, I'm available, and I'll be there tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Also, please minimize the amount of jewelry, makeup, cologne, and perfume that you wear. These things should all be understated. You do not want the recruiter or the hiring manager to be staring at things like that. You want them to look at you and to listen to you as you convey exactly the reasons why you are the best candidate for the job. Dressing for success will help to give you the competitive edge other over other applicants, and that's what you want because today's job market is fiercely competitive and you do not want to blow that first impression that you have that you are the best candidate for the job by dressing inappropriately. So in summary, have one, if not poss if you possibly can, have two suits ready to go because you may be called back for a second interview and you do not want to wear the same clothes twice. Minimize the amount of jewelry, makeup, cologne, and perfume. And lastly, bring a briefcase or a leather binder and inside have a notepad and a pen to take down notes during the interview and also carry along a couple copies of your resume. You may be speaking with other people besides the recruiter during the interview and if that person or the other, other authority who's interviewing you does not have your resume, you'll be able to pull one out at a moment's notice and that shows good planning and organizing skills on your part. And it's little things like that that will help to convert you from an applicant to an employee. This is Kathleen Bonzik. Thank you for watching and for listening today.